Uh, good afternoon, Seneca High School. We are here today to feature, as part of our Seneca Way video series, our broadcast journalism class. I'm here with Mrs. Marilee Appleby, and then two young men who are critical parts of the broadcast journalism program, Mr. Daggett and Mr. Othon. So we're going to talk a little bit about broadcast journalism, and to start, Mrs. Appleby, tell us about how the history of this program started. So the class started officially under my direction in the year 2017-2018 after the retirement of Barb Beck. Um, she kind of had taken it one way, and when I took it over, I kind of took it a little bit a different way. The studio that we're in right now um, was uh, had a lot of input from the first kids as to what we wanted to make it, and so um, the studio as it is now is very much improved from when I first took it over. Um, back the summer before it started, Mr. Herrig and the tech kids at the time built us all new computers right from scratch, had all the graphics and the power and the speed um, so that we would have double monitors and nice machines to use. Um, and then I had a lot of really good help in those first years. Uh, I had somebody gave me the heads up that maybe I should uh, talk to Mr. Jacob Ursua because he knew a lot about this world. So shout out to him. Uh, Tyler Chop, Levi Meyerhofer, Nick Greco, really super important and helpful guys in my first years when we were all just kind of learning what we were doing. So from there, then it's been the last seven years we've been up here in the studio and making improvements um, and and learning how to use the equipment. So that's that's kind of where how it all evolved. So you've built something start. to be very proud of. The growth each year of this program is is just phenomenal. So let's shift to one of our on-air uh, celebrities here. What would you say is your favorite segment or piece to create for broadcast journalism? Uh, I would say I love, like we do four different categories of videos, but I love doing, honestly, the Irish Informant for the week. Even like learning some of the stuff when we read the script. Some of the stuff I don't even know that we've done. It's like, wow, will you really like realize how much our school does, and like how well we do in all these different activities? And just the fact that I get to announce all the stuff for the school for that week. I just think it's a great thing. I love doing Irish Informant. I think that's great. You, you obviously know a lot about the boys' basketball You're team right. and the football team, as Shirley did, but then you learn about Aces destroying the competition at regionals, and that's, that's an incredible thing to see. Uh, Mrs. Appleby, what would you say is maybe one of your proudest moments in broadcast journalism history? Um, I, I think it's maybe just a, a, a series of moments. Um, the kids that they say, Mrs. Appleby, how do you do this? And I go, ooh, guys, I don't know how you do that. Um, so how about you go ask YouTube and you get back to me on that? Uh, so the kids that just jump into it, even though I don't know what the next tiny little detail of how to perfect their video, how to, how to go about it, I don't know. But they go figure it out. Mm -hmm. um, so that's cool. I've had um, Ellie Bland and Drew Erler and Levi Meyerhofer going on to college. Um, Drew and Ellie are working in uh, mass media right now. Levi's working on, on his degree to be uh, in sports journalism. So that's been um, a highlight. I'm just really proud of those kids. Yeah, I, I think that's great. You talk about real world skills and, and real life applications. That's, that's one of the goals of the Seneca Way is to try to get those into our kids' hands. So for Mr. Othon, what do you think is something that you will take from this class and apply to your future? Um, probably like for presentations and showing people how to do stuff. Like even now, we, me and Kenny are actually creating a rule video for the FFA lock-in that we get, we get to use in the class. And since we know all the skills to how to edit videos and put different like subjects and different like demonstrations possibly, I could use in class for college and just maybe even work someday, I could be able to use it. That's great. That's great. And our final question from Mrs. Appleby, what do you hope to see the future of broadcast journalism become? Well, we've got a really good groundwork, I think, in here in terms of like the equipment that we that we have and the, the backdrops and the lighting equipment and the microphones, the setup. Uh, I know you can't see on this video, but we'll we'll get some uh, pictures in there. So I guess when I retire in two years, I'm hoping that they will hire somebody who has um some even bigger vision about what that they can can take with um, take the direction of it even after I retire. So I think we've just we've laid a lot of good groundwork and we're going to try to improve to improve our studio and our facilities up here in the in the studio. 
um, and then I'm, I'm looking to see what what uh, what my predis- what my uh, successor does with it um, in the future. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you for your feedback. For all of Seneca High School, you get to see the Brojo videos, our daily or weekly announcements, and all the great pictures and videos they put together to honor all of our people at Seneca High School and be proud of the Seneca way. Mr. Daggett, Mr. Othon, thank you, and Mrs. Appleby, thankful. Thank you for all the work you've done with broadcast journalism.